Okay, so uh, real quick video. This is a little bit different than uh, my typical videos, but uh, I ran across a an old grill, barbecue grill, gas grill. I guess is what it is. Someone was throwing away, throwing away, and I always look at those things. There's got to be some something you could do with it. So basically, it was this. On the left hand side here is the uh, is the uh, gas grill that's being thrown away, and um, it was it was pretty trash. The interior of the grill itself was pretty rusted and it was done it was all done but the frame was in pretty good shape so uh, I don't know why it came to me but I decided to make a, a little workbench out of it that I use in my driveway <clears throat> basically just holds you know the tools so I don't have to bend over all the time uh, it's at waist height uh, I can do quick cuts on it I don't know if I would do like major work with it but it's it's pretty nice. Um, I have to be um, I'm happy with it. <laughs> so here's what I did uh, to create this thing. And basically, the first thing you're going to do is strip this thing down. You got to remove everything, um, everything except the wheels and the actual frame itself. But the gas controls. Uh, you want to get the grill bucket off of the top here. Um, any of this plastic pieces. Uh, this can kind of be choice. I had to take it off because of the way I was putting the tabletop on it. Um, I'm not sure. You may not even have the same one, but the point is you just got to strip this thing down until you end up with just the frame, as shown over here on the right. Now, um, just be aware that on this particular model, there was right here on the left-hand side of the bottom, there was only one bolt holding this whole thing on. The rest of it was kind of plugged in the tabs and whatnot. Uh, but I did have to get a hacksaw and hack that bolt off because it had gotten hot, so hot down on the grill. It, I mean, you couldn't get it off. I had to hack it off. So, but at the end of the day, however you have to do yours, you want to strip the grill down until you just have the frame as shown here on the right. Uh, so for the rest of this, the tools that were required, I think this is all of them. A 3 8 inch drill bit. And I think that's right. I don't think it was 3 quarter inch. It, the, the drill bit, I'll explain it, but it's basically the, whatever size bolt you choose to use. Uh, four inch are appropriately sized bolts, flat washers and lock washers for the bolts, nuts for the bolts, obviously, some wood glue if you use two pieces of, um, I call it particle board, but it's really plywood. This is wrong right here. This should be plywood. But I used two th three quarter inch hardwood uh, plywood boards. I used oak. Um, I need to change that. I'm just going to change that right now as we're doing this thing. So this should be plywood. Plywood. Um, so here we go. Two three-quarter inch pieces of hardwood plywood. I used oak. It's kind of pricey, but really at the end of the day, you spend like, I don't know, $45 and you got this thing done. Uh, a socket wrench and sockets to tighten the bolts, whatever size you chose. Uh, a tape measure and a drill bit to countersink... Uh, the bolts and obviously a drill, but I'll explain that other part in a little bit. So hopefully that's all the stuff you will need. So here are the pictures of the things I used. Uh, up here in the top left, these are the bolts I used. They have the round, rounded top. You know, honestly, I don't know what they're called. Uh, the ones I chose were four inches and they had threads that went all the way up to the top, so I didn't have to worry about the depth so much. I probably could have gotten away with a three and a half inch bolt or something even shorter. But hey, you know, one trip to the store is how I make it, so I got a four inch bolt. Um, so when you install these, you're going to push these bolts down through the holes you make, then put on the flat washer, and then put on the lock washer, and then put on the bolt. I'll show you that later. Uh, wood glue doesn't have to be armor, it could be whatever. Some wood glue if you choose to use two pieces of plywood. I chose to use two. You can only use one if that's what you think you need. Um, a tape measure. Hopefully, everybody knows what that is. A drill bit that is the same size as your bolt. So if you get a 3 8 inch bolt, then you need a 3 8 inch drill bit. If you get a uh, half inch bolt, then you need a half inch drill bit. The thing about the drill bit, though, is it needs to be able to drill through wood and metal. So look at the little signs or symbols, um, you know, at the store. If you have to buy one, just look, you know, it'll it'll show you whether or what it can drill through. <coughs> um, or you may already have one. This drill bit is to countersink the bolt so you have a flush, uh, uh, so there's no bumps or anything on your on your bench top. I don't know what it's called. I call it a hole drill or <laughs> or a hole bit or something like that. Um, 
but you want it to be just a little bit larger than the top uh, circumference or width of your bolt, right? So it's just a little bit larger than that, and that's how you deem the appropriate size. And you're not going to drill all the way through with this bit. You just drill deep enough so that the top of the bolt, like from up here on the left-hand side, from here to here, that's the, that's the only depth you want to go with this because all you're doing is making a little hole for the top of the bolt to fit into. And, of course, you need a drill over here on the right. So here we go. Um, the first thing you do is just take it apart. Like I said before, take you got to take all these things apart. They come apart pretty easily. This one just had a lot of wing nuts on it. There's some bolts you got to take apart, so you may need a socket set to get some of those off. But it's really not terribly difficult to start stripping this thing down to nothing. And so the next thing uh, you end up with is the frame. So the first step, and for my part, you know, I have three eighths, but it might be three. No, it could be three quarters, three eighths. So I drilled three eighths inch holes um, in this fashion. Now your frame may be different. That's why I don't have a lot of measurements on here. But basically, from from the end here to the inside of this plastic piece, I went three inches and drilled a hole. You got to measure this. Don't just drill haphazardly uh, because you got to align your bolts to these holes. So you want to measure. Um, these center holes are dead center. So in my case, this was 48 inches dead in the end. So it was 24 inches to here, 24 inches to there, uh, 3 inches from the end here, 3 inches from the end here, and same thing here. So, like I said, measure those before, you know, measure for your drill. You can do 4 inches or 2. It's totally up to you. I chose 3 just because, I don't know, I think I just chose 3. But the point is, do the same thing in, for all the holes. Um, to get holes in the wood to align directly to the holes you drilled through the frame, the easiest thing to do is to get your pieces of plywood, or your piece of plywood, however you do it, um, set it on top of the frame, and I, I think there really should be about two inches of overhangs, like on this side, so the board hangs over two inches on this side, I have my arrows down here at the bottom, and two inches on that side. That way later you can use clamps or something if you want to on it, you know, and it just makes it much easier. Um, you can have somebody hold it while you do this, but you probably should clamp it on there. But basically what you're going to do is you clamp it down if you can, or have somebody hold it. And take your drill with your 3 8 inch drill bit and drill, go back up through the holes you drilled earlier right through the wood. That way you're sure that they line up. Right? And you may have to move the drill bit around a little bit to loosen it up, to, to get it clear so bolts can go through it later. But that's what I found to be the easiest way to make sure I, I got the holes in the wood to line up with the holes in the metal. It's just to drill back through. So drill up from the bottom. Once you have, the reason I showed this picture is once you have, if you, if you do the two corners, so once you have this one drilled up through and then this one over here, you can shove a bolt in. And if you had somebody holding it, they could let go of it at that point. You can just drill the rest of your holes up from the bottom. So, uh, If you want the bolts to be flush, so in other words, you don't want bolts sticking up on your workbench. You, don't, you want things to be able to slide across it. Um, so you kind of want to countersink those. And as I talked about earlier, I'll, uh, it, you basically use this whole bit. Um, but you don't, you only drill far enough into the wood, and this is right at the holes you just made. Matter of fact, um, it's going to be, it's hard, but you'll see, you'll see, you'll see me, but you just don't drill very far. You drill, you drill just enough with this bit to, to cover the depth enough to cover the bolt head. It's not very far at all. It only takes, it's quick, man. It's only a couple of turns. I'll, uh, link a video that explains how to use this bit. Um, if you did choose to use two pieces of plywood, then now's the time to kind of glue those together. So you got you got your holes drilled, you've done your countersink things like you see down here where I've got the countersink done. Um, by the way, I did mark what, what was top and bottom on each board so I wouldn't get it mixed up. I uh, threw on some wood glue, and the wood glue will help keep it together. Um, I doesn't look like I used too much <laughs> here. Probably didn't use enough. But I glued them together, um, and then I just proceeded to put the bolts in. So 
this is kind of the end right here. Install the rest. So you got the glue. Um, you got put those two corner bolts in again, uh, right here and right here. Just kind of hold the whole thing in place while you put your other bolts in. Slide all the bolts in. Put the uh, flat washer on first, then the lock washer, and then the nut. Uh, you can see my bolts hang down way too far than they should, but that's okay. I'm just, you know, I'm just slapping this thing together. And the end result is that. It's it's a bit more sturdy than I thought it was going to be. It does wiggle a little bit side to side, but um, eh, I like it. It's, it's, I've used it like four times already. Uh, it's, it's pretty neat. So there you go. I'm going to recycle that uh, gas grill frame. I hope, I hope this helps everyone. Thanks.